survey and where I asked the question which two out of the following you would like to learn and the options which I gave was this now you can see over here this is a question where user can have more than one preferences right so after doing this survey let's say I got the data in the form of this something like this okay I got the data in this form now if I want to know which one out of these five is most recommended by the users right something like this I want to have somebody something like this so how would I get it it's not feasible to get this kind of summary on this kind of data because the problem is you have the data in this format and to get that kind of summary I need to bring the data in this format and then it is very easy to produce this kind of summary so that's what we are going to learn how to bring this type of data into this format so what you should observe over here is for each of the user there are just one entry let's take an example for user one for user one you have two responses chat GPT and pandas but over here if you see here user one has two entries and in each of the entry you have separate responses now if you get the data in this format it becomes very simple for you to make this kind of summary and to bring this data into this format what we're going to use is explode now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and show you how you can do that so here i'm going to be in jupyter notebook here is what i have my jupyter notebook and here i have my data created now to explode this data to modify this data what we are gonna do is simply say df dot explode and into that put the name of that column which to which we want to explode now let's just run this the moment you hit enter this is what you get right you see user one this the user two this is this, this so this is exactly what we need to do now once this is done I'm going to store this in a separate data frame and I will just print that okay and after doing that it is very simple for me to just put a pivot on this pivot table index equals to responses and in values I'm going to use user and then ag func I'm assuming that you are already familiar with this function this pivot table function okay now here I would require to do reset index and over here I would just do the sort values by user and ascending equals to false and this is what you get you see this kind of summary you got this is exactly what we wanted to have so the point is to modify this kind of data we need to use explode now there there could be little advanced problem statement where you might have data in form of this you see this is like so the difference over here is you see over here this is comma separated right and it is not in form of list the above one was also comma separated but that was stored in a list if you see over here and this one is just a piece of a string like it, it's it's not like a list so how to handle this kind of data so for that first thing which we would require to do is do the split of the data right so for that what we're going to do is here i'm going to say responses in the same column i'm going to split this data okay over here and what i would do is i'll take dot str dot split and let's just print this df3 i need to put a separator over here okay let me import this once again and here is what we got you see now we have this in perfect form to use the explode next thing which i'm going to do is i'm just directly going to use explode on this explode and into this i'm going to use responses and here is what we got right so there are two steps if you don't have the data already in the form of list then there are two steps which you need to do first you split that and then you bring that into this form so this technique is very very frequently used when you are doing the data scrapping web scrapping when you scrap the data that is not exactly in the form which you would like to use so that's where you can use split and explode or only explode i hope that it was simple for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks once again